Are you happy? All of you? Old Monk. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's of Corbin. I'm Rick. <laughs> I put a little shelf. Yeah, it's nice. That's its own special little our dedicated little monk. shelfy Melfi. Yeah. And we're, hey. Where we going? Shahid. Yeah, we also got uh, such shit. Right. Yeah! We got some Yash. Yeah! And then we got, um, there was some. Oh. Nice. Oh, and ooh. Ha <laughs> ha! The best picture ever. Of Nasiruddin Shah. And then uh, our little tribute to uh, Prabhu Deva. Nice. Anyways, that's all this is about. We're doing no. a movie review of the new film that just came out. Wait, uh, on... it's new? I thought it was from the 90s. <laughs> Great quality. If it's Incredible. from the 90s. Um, but the uh, 2022 film Love Hostel. Uh, it's still romance month, so of course. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> By the way, I'm not texting or anything. I'm looking up my paragraph. <clears throat> but um, obviously, if you didn't see our trailer reaction uh, to this, we were going goo goo gaga. Yes. When we saw the trailer. Yep. Uh, directed by Shankar Raman. Raman, right? Yes. Raman. Shankar Raman. Uh, and then uh, the and written part partly written as well by Shankar Raman. And then uh, starring uh, San San Sanya Mahotra. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, Vivek. I mean, um, Vikrant, Vikrant, Messi, yep. and then uh, Bobby Dole, or is it? Yeah, it's Dole, right? I know it's spelled like Dole, but I think it's pronounced I just Dole. Because I heard Indrani pronounce it once, and she said it like, yeah. And I was like, okay, that sounds right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm that saying happens it white. all of the time, <laughs> all the time with us. But anyways, um, since this just came out, we're gonna do a little non-spoiler review. Yep. Uh, and then we'll get into some spoilers, but we'll let you know before we get there. But we do that with new films because a lot of you might not have seen it. It's on Z5. Just came out. You can go watch it. It's a short one for an Indian film. It's only an hour 40. Um, but uh, it's a, a crime romance thriller. That would be true. Um, but, yeah. So if you haven't watched it, um, we're going to do a little non-spoiler. Yeah. Non Rick, your, your paragraph. Well, it's our 14th of the year, our 138th Hindi, and our 221st all-time those, as you mentioned, first. Wow. yeah, 221. Those who saw us react to the trailer of this movie not too long ago recognized how excited we were for this film based on what we saw there. Not only did it live up to the excitement we had based on that trailer, but it added a cornucopia of other elements that not only pleased me in terms of entertainment value, but surprised me in terms of artistic excellence and cinematic artistry. In short, I'm 100% in the deep end on this one. Think it's one of the best films of the year, will remain so throughout the year, and we'll be talking about multiple categories of this film when we present the dummies for best performances of 2022. Well, I fucking hated this movie. Oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was 100%. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? No, of course I love uh, this movie. You, if, if you watch this movie, you know this is my top that of That would have been the, the biggest the shocker, shocker there, right? ever of our um, reviews. Th I, did have a, I, I, I did have a few issues. I have a few. I have a couple of issues, and you and I are going to have the same but issue I, about something but I do, for sure. But I do agree that uh, it's one of the better ones of the year. I'd say this, the, the Pico one that I can't pronounce. Correct. And then the Malayalam Horror. Those yep. are probably the three best new films of the year Agree with you so 100%. Um, that's at least in my opinion. Yep. And um, of course, obviously... It's still like, early. We should probably, when we get to the Dummies next year, we might want to consider giving um, awards for the current things. It all depends on how many films came out that year and how many Exactly. Saw, so. Because like I'm thinking about the things already. Just classic month. My my dummies <laughs> nominations are <laughs> loaded. Absolutely. So, But anyways, yeah. So uh, I, I really, really enjoyed this film. I think um, for, for non-spoilers, if you just want a really fun um, taut taut just Mm. Surprising. Yes. Um, well, obviously, very well acted by everyone. Everybody, include even though I know, oh. even though I know he's not known in his career for his acting. Bobby Dole, apparently, he's having like a resurgence in his Good career. Grief, playing stuff like this. We'll talk but, about him. But apparently, like back in the day, he's like he's like when I called him, like I think I was mistaking yeah, him I for remember. somebody else. I mistaked him for somebody else. Right. Um, somebody else named Bobby, I think. Um, but. 
when I said he was a legend, people were like, yeah, he's not a legend. Yeah, well, he <laughs> carried himself like one in this. Yeah, but apparently he's had a resurgence in his career playing unique stuff like this. Well, I wanted to give a shout out before we continue. The casting in this, whenever an entire ensemble does pretty much immaculate work from everybody. Oh my god, look, who, who casted this? I know. <laughs> it's We have two people. It was Anmal Ahuja and then this unknown guy that we've never heard of named Abhishek Benerji. Um, so, I love you, Dost. My goodness, you guys, as always, if, if you, you could, I, you could probably just go to Abhishek's IMDb and look at things he's cast and watch them just because he cast them. Yeah. Obviously we haven't seen everything he's done, but, uh, I could. Everything we've seen he's cast. Yeah. The acting's good. been superlative. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah. So, uh, overall it's a, it's a really well acted, surprising, it beautiful cinematography. Great by, score. Um, uh, what was the same? Yeah, uh, of uh, um, Vivek, um, uh, Vivek Shaw. A brilliant cinematography and Agreed. lighting by his whole team. Agreed, the whole team. Um, and, and before I forget, huh. whoever was working on continuity, which is typically everybody, if you're paying attention on set and you know but how much it matters, a specific person. there's usually a continuity person. I didn't see it on the, the credits here. You had so many. Right down to a moment where I'm not going to give any spoilers away, but there's a character who had been bleeding and had blood on their hand that was like on their hand and then got in a situation where they were tended to and then they leave and their hand is washed but still has some blood stain on it because that's what would happen when you let blood sit on your hand that long. Every little blood droplet from frame to frame on the face, everything was continuity perfection. Yeah. There's really, there's very little uh, to gripe about this film, and I'm not really going to put in the non-spoilers because um, those aren't really are my issues. I think it's no, I can't talk about anything unless we talk about yeah, the film. So it's a it's a great film. Go watch this film. It's it's well done in every aspect. Um, the, and the issues I have are minute. And and one thing before we get into spoilers for those of you who have not seen this. Um, I, I want you to go with excitement. I don't want to set the bar too high, but one of the things I, I was surprised by that I don't think spoils anything is the fact that in the trailer, we got that entertainment value. We got what we thought were going to be great performances and direction and everything. Mm -hmm. One of the things I didn't expect was, and we can talk about this in a few minutes, was how often this touched upon deeply important mm -hmm. issues. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it wasn't talking, really great. It wasn't talking about anything like in terms of like a real event, obviously. No, no, no. But in terms of it, you know what they were talking about and how these things happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I do agree. There's uh, uh, the stuff we have problems with. You will get into the non spoilers, but it's it's. I think you're if you go in with like I'm gonna have a really fun time with a kind of almost an assassin film almost. I guess that's how you would describe it. It's not really a spoiler yeah, if you've it, seen the trailer. It's a it does work for romance month. It does. It really does. It still does. It really does. Uh, but uh, Vivek and uh, Sonia and Bobby are obviously. But I don't want to say they're standing because actually everybody. Was oh, you amazing. mean Vic Ront? You said Vivek. Vic, for, yeah. yeah. Sorry. But yeah. So that's our non-spoiler. Uh, we're going to get into spoilers now, so if you haven't watched it, please go watch it. It's only an hour 40, like I said. It's a real short one. it feels one. like 90. Um, so go watch it. It's on Z5. Come back. We're getting into spoils. Cool. Let's talk about Bobby Dole, man. <laughs> he was great. <laughs> it, so It was actually funny. When um, I, I texted the uh, group of ours uh, uh, that helps us out, right? And I said, I just put, they didn't know I was watching it, but I put um, uh, Love Hostel Fire. And I just put that emoji. And they're like, really? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, Bobby Dole's doing some amazing stuff nowadays. And I'm like, I, I mean, I've never seen anything else he's ever done. But and but I said, I was like, maybe what um, he did um, was that they he gave him like the John Wick treatment. Mm. Obviously, I don't think a lot of Keanu Reeves as an actor, as a person, he's an amazing person. But it works in John Wick because he doesn't. All he has to do is shoot people in the face and not mess up his lines, right? Right. He doesn't actually have a ton of lines. I bet he had less than a sheet of lines right. in the entire script. Right. That doesn't mean he didn't have a lot to do. Obviously, he's a lot of screen time, and there's more to acting than lines. But, of course. Uh, I thought he did a really good job. He, And I actually looked up a picture of him. He looks so much different without a beard. I know. <laughs> he had such I, a presence in I this. knew it was him, and when I looked at IMDb and saw his IMDb headshot, I went... That's it's him, because it didn't look anything like. 
Oh, this and character. shout out to the uh, makeup and pro the, the the scar on the face. Yeah, everybody makeup not just for the for the scar on his face, but the consistency. Like I said, just like with continuity, there was a combination that was pretty seamless of visual effects and makeup in terms of the graphic nature of a lot of the woundedness that happens with people, and that can really screw up bad. We take it for granted. When you're in a film that's clicking and going like this one, and suspension of disbelief is just right there the whole time, you can take for granted how many elements are going right that just one of them going wrong pulls you and you you don't believe it anymore. And you're like, oh, that's an awful bullet wound, or oh, that didn't look like real brains. Not, that never happened. This, the, in the way the writing uh, wrote his character, and obviously the way he portrayed it, immediately you were captivated by him and yep. this awful person that yep. he was playing because it starts off with his introduction. Once again, we're on spoilers. We're just hanging a couple. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> like just, and the, the shots of them, even though they were people hanging, man, they just grip you immediately and also shock you because like obviously he hangs them and that's shocking enough, right? And then the next shot, you see the guy just falling down after he's dead, falling from the tree. I'm like, oh shit. shit exactly. <laughs> I thought it had an incredible opening, and I haven't enjoyed watching an assassin kill people and take their pictures since Bob. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. He did such a good job, and the writing of it was so good because you're like, I 100% believe you, and they gave you... This is what kind of one of the things we were talking about in the, um, uh, the, Ali, the, the new Sanjay film, that I wanted to see this little, this little monster behind... The, see the, 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 the Ali was talking. See real depiction of what um, these people really obviously, do. Obviously, that's not what the, right, right, right. they were trying to go for in that one, but they brought it in this one. Um, and he, man, he, I, I could see him playing assassin for, for the next 10 years. I thought he was amazing. I did too. And that's something I have about the film that um, I'll, we'll talk about at spoiler time. But since we're focusing on the acting performances right now, I not only felt that he did a great job, I felt like they filmed him and wrote him really, really well. I liked the messaging in his getting the dog. I liked the fact that he wasn't just a mindless Michael Myers, because they could have just done that. It would have worked, but it wouldn't have had that extra level that took this from just being an entertainer to being something that actually, it was this weird blend of being both like this just cool movie and actually feeling like a film festival film. Mm -hmm. I, I can't remember a film that I thought blended the two so well. That's yeah. hard to do. Yeah, he did a really good job. Um, he was incredible. Perfect and, for this character. Couldn't imagine anyone else in it. And the way everybody, um, they, they wrote him. Obviously, every single scene from the beginning, they kind of just were... Uh, they were you'd, he, you could think he could do anything. Yeah. And he did. I was scared of him. He did. I mean, he just he, shot everybody in the family and then left that kid to be <laughs> alone playing the video game. Yes. And then <laughs> when he walks into the hostel, because mm -hmm. he, he knows she's he in there, starts... and he's just nothing, nothing going on behind Mike the eye. Myers, man. Yeah. It was oh, it incredible. Was, but it was so fun to watch. So fun. Um, and so I, I, he also he left me with a sense of nobody's safe in this thing. Yeah. Who's he gonna kill next? Um, and, and that's another thing about the film that I loved and what they did in the end, uh, oh, to like, um, the Kronk. Oh yeah. Uh, we'll get in that. We'll get, uh, get, I want to talk about those two. Yeah. Sanya, uh, Mahotra and, uh, Vikrant, who I think are two, probably the most underrated actors that at least in my preach, opinion, brother, preach of Indian cinema, preach brother, preach. Um, obviously the first time we saw Vikrant was, um, the, the music bar. Correct. <laughs> Such a different character. And he's he also picks. I feel he's. In, I feel like he's an actor. If we've talked to him, he kind of like a lot of people we've I talked to. One hundred percent. He just he he wants to pick unique roles. And I, I believe he style loves the craft. Yeah, and, yeah. And so I hundred percent believe. I think he's a very versatile actor. I think yep. he's a very uh, committed actor. And her as well. I think the first thing we saw her was probably Don Cool, right? And, yeah. Um, and we've seen her in Ludo and, and a couple other things. But man, she I feel is the same exact way. She likes picking unique projects, and she likes picking a project she can really sink her teeth into and that really delve into the yes. human condition. And they were great together. And they had moments together where I felt like I was watching a really, really good scene study where you're sitting in an acting class and watching two people who've worked on their scene together, and you're just loving the chemistry they have with each other, and that one person does something, and you're like, 
guarantee they didn't rehearse that that came out of the moment and it was improv and you reacted to it and you took it and you're, they're just fun, fun actors to watch. And guys, can't stress enough. There were so many moments for both of them, but especially for him, two things where he either had to be in emotion alone where he had to prep himself before action and be in an emotional state like when he's burying his mom. Mm -hmm. There was nothing to cue him, nothing to prep him. He just had to be there. And I'm sure the director gave him time, but I can't tell you how hard it is to not let a scene build you toward a moment emotionally and where you have to be believable and not contrive something in that moment to make us believe we're watching a grieving guy. Yeah. And then he had to do those moments where he gave you an emotional output of something deep, whether it was his love or his anger, and the director did it like this. You had to be looking in camera, and I can't, I can't explain how hard it is on screen for the character to look in camera and we become the person they're talking to, but for the actor to be looking into a lens and get some human connectivity with that, it, it takes extremely talented actors to give you that. Yeah. It's not easy. And they did a great job, yeah, both of them. They were both, they shared a bunch of powerful scenes, a bunch of emotional scenes, and they, they, they're they so good. I, so, I, I, so good. I would good. love to see everything either of these actors have done. Yeah, I, they're, they're two that when I, if I see their name getting elevated into bigger projects and, and larger things, I want to celebrate them because um, they're so, so good. I know we've seen, there was one last year, uh, we saw in our Badajo, obviously, in Ludo and, and, and Dongo. There was one last year that came out that we missed, and I was sad. Of hers? Uh, oh, yeah. Pocket yeah. I think. Um, I heard it was like really good. A lot of people really enjoyed it, but we missed it. And, but, oh, she's in Photograph. That's with Nawaz. Oh. Right? Yeah. Another person that we're not mentioning by name because we've been searching, and it's driving us bonkers. <gasps> she's in the grandma, The Grandma Dawn in this. Oh, yeah. We can't find... I recognize her. We recognize her. It's bothering us that we're not remembering, but... IMDB doesn't list her. Google doesn't list her. Nobody lists her as far as who her character name and her person. If they but do, it's like there's no picture. There's nothing. She, I was like, I wonder if this who this is what Gungabai was like in her later years. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, she reminded me a lot of um, um, God. She's a really famous actress. She was in Tenet. Who was that one? Uh, what was her name? Mm. Real famous actors. Yeah. I just can't remember Crap. her name. Sorry. You guys know who I'm talking about. You've already put in the comments. Yep. Uh, but yeah, she was phenomenal. And we'll talk about everybody else. Um, how is this film uh, Patakaha? Vishal Bardwash. Because she's the lead in it, Sanya. Not a surprise that she... BJ worked. Ross is in it too! Not, oh my god! Oh wow. <laughs> Not a surprise that she's worked with Vishal. Um... Tell me how this film is because with I'm very... With DJ Ross. DJ Ross and her. Crap. And, 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 and I think we've actually reacted to the trailer. I just don't remember it at all. Uh, but I think we've reacted to the trailer. So you, please let me know this is an amazing film because I'd like to watch it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but every, um, the, the the officer at the Love Hostel. Yes. Who we've seen many times. Many before. times. He's, he was so good in this. Always good. always really good. Always good. Uh, I thought the, the lead police officer as yep. well. Was Everybody really, was really great. Good. Believable. Um, um, who am I missing? I feel like there was one that I... Oh, um, uh, the other the the the, the daughter the of daughter the, of D Dagar. Yeah. Yes. He was. She was really really. And how good about too. that twist? Yeah. Uh, and this had so many twists. Obviously, it caught you off guard many times. Many times. In terms of, I don't know. Andrani could tell you how many times because I started watching it while she was asleep. So I'm watching it with my AirPods on, and I'm I'm, I'm watching. And I don't know how many times I went. Oh no! <laughs> don't go in there. No, no, he's gonna shoot you. He when the, the yeah. two guys when they're dancing, I'm like they're dead. They're dead. Yeah. Brains on her face. Brains on her. Yep, there it is. I was actually really excited for that part. Um, <laughs> not because I was actually real sad because yeah. I thought those two actually did a really good job. That was a really interesting uh, aspect they added to the story. Agreed. Uh, those two. But I was actually just native dancing. I was like, I could see it coming. And I was like, yep. here he comes. Get inside. Close the door. Right when he dipped her, I'm like, okay, shoot him now. now. And then it happened. And yes. I was sad, but I was happy because cinematically it was it, wonderful. It worked well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, a lot of those moments, especially at the end, uh, the spoiler once again, when Vikrant just gets... I'm t is it, am I saying his name wrong? Is it Vikrant? Yeah, no, that was right. Okay. It's, yeah, Vivek is the cinematographer. Vikrant is the actor. That's right. Sorry. I keep, I keep thinking I'm messing up. But when, once again, spoiler, the brother... The little kid. Who did great. Um, great job. That was a great element because it, it kind of like, even though you just, you killed the grandma, 
this patriarchal system is continuing with continuing the younger generation. with the rage in this yeah. young man. Uh, but, like, it just... Boom. <laughs> out like, of nowhere. Oh, shit! That's exactly how I responded. <laughs> I was like, yes! Yep. I love that. Um, the parts that I didn't enjoy were what came after. Uh, I didn't like when they met once they died. I didn't feel like that was needed. I... I did you here's here's where I it didn't ruin anything no but I just in my personal preference uh, I the film I the minute it faded out Degar is driving away yeah. he makes his left hand turn and you hear <laughs> and it faded I went please give me credits yeah please give me credits yeah and when another scene came up I went Shh, yeah no I didn't like that yeah and I didn't like the running him down like a dog. Yeah. Uh, At all. Yeah. The, I get it. I, I understand the karmic communication here. It's obviously at the beginning she said, I hope you love something so much and, and you follow it and yeah. you, you die. Uh, whatever. I, I get it. Whatever. Um, I would have just preferred, one, you shoot Vikrant, you shoot her, they're dead. And then if you want to add him, don't kill him in the end. This Prefer is actually one of the moments that I don't like him, like the I agree. dying in the end. I, 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 two reasons I don't think you should have killed him off. Number two, there was so much reality in this, I was hoping it would have ended on the stark reality that in this world, bad things happen to good people, yeah. innocent people are wrongfully hurt, and there is no payback. Yep. There's no explanation. Yep. It, it's wrong, and it always will be wrong. Yeah. And you, I, wanted an, I wanted a sequel with him. I wanted him killing more people. Yeah. Um, so yeah, those are like the when they met after they died. I did. I was like, I, I'm with you. Whatever. whatever. I, I don't really. Me too. I didn't like that. I Me too. Just preferred the them on dead on the ground. I thought driving away. And then if you want to end with him, end with him just sitting there and petting the dog or something like that. Don't kill him. I so, didn't need any of it. He drives away, gunshot, fade to black. Obviously, it's not my film. Right. And it didn't ruin the film. It didn't ruin it at I would, all. I would still watch this film, and yes. I'll still recommend this film. Yes. I was just telling you my personal preference and, and what how but I think it should have been. That, for me, was the only thing... That's the only flaw, I can flaw for me I have, is the ending is just not my personal preference. Yeah. And it didn't do anything to me in terms of ruining the film because yeah. that ended that way. Yeah. At all. Um, I, I agree. And that's... <laughs> it was just sad because I was like, yeah! And I was like, oh... <laughs> yeah, I wanted is... to end on like that. Yay! And then I was like, I guess, but... but... <laughs> you know I love a film. Okay, when I'm in, I enjoyed watching it, and that's about it, and I would recommend you see it. If I love a film, while I'm watching it and when it ends, my first thought is, who can I go watch this with? Mm -hmm. I typically see... When I love a film, I typically see it three or four times because mm -hmm. I want to give it more box office mm -hmm. and I want to experience it with people I love and value their opinion because I know it's going to blow... It's like oh, I saw... we saw, I saw Badla like four times because mm -hmm. I went back and took Alexis. I went back and took Micah. Uh, watched it again with my mom. And this one had the same thing for me. I'm like, oh my goodness, I want the kids to see this. Oh yeah, they'll love it. I, I want Indrani to... I, I was I, ready. If Indrani was today, if we left and she said I want to watch it, I would happily start yeah, it over. Absolutely. Happily. One, it's a quick one. And it just... It grips you immediately. It instantly. It, it doesn't let go. Yeah, and it, it's it's a fast paced. You're always engaged, uh, and everybody does amazing. And I think it's uh, I would consider this. I would give it an A plus. I'd probably yep. give it an A minus just because of the just end. Just the end, exactly. But that's a, a okay. fragment. And the other thing we touched on it a little bit, and I guess we can end on this too. There were for a lot, especially the first half. I was extremely sad in the, some of the depictions of what was happening because it's. It's real. In some parts, yeah. The fact that people can't be together because of the way they're treated. Mm -hmm. um, I love that moment when she turned the car on, the, the gun on the, the two guys. Yeah. And they were afraid because that's what happens. Mm -hmm. There's people who hate enough that if you don't fit within the framework of their worldview, they will literally kill you. Yeah. And try to stop you. When they got to the hostel, the way that he talked to her and her husband wouldn't stand up for her. Um, mm -hmm. And just... Religious bigotry, yep. human bigotry of all kinds, yep. and how it's just always there permeated this thing throughout that made me very sad and throughout a lot of the first half. Absolutely. Yeah. And those, uh, the, the two actors who were playing the gay couple, 
did a phenomenal job, especially job. in that that scene when she came there. Yeah, I legitimately thought he was scared, and the yeah. other guy came there to comfort him, and I, I felt that they were actually in a relationship together. And it's just not. I mean, they show up in there in uh, two scenes. Uh, it's it's not. You know, I'm sure. I don't think they're a real couple. Yeah, uh, maybe they are, but they <laughs> to do that in that quick, it's it's not an easy thing. They're and, probably day players. And I would I would. This is one of the films people ask me a lot. What's a movie you'd recommend to somebody in the West, like oh, someone in America? Easy. I would. This would absolutely shock to the core people I know that love cinema but have no clue how good it is in India yeah. and would digest it because it would be more of what they're accustomed to yeah. cinematically. Absolutely. I guarantee there would be people who watch this and have their mind blown and say, I had no idea. India is creating stuff that's good. Yeah, I I'm excited to share this movie with people. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, <clears throat> and obviously, all this goes into the, the directing of. Um, I know we didn't specifically yep. talk about him. Yep. But Shankar um, Rahman, Shankar, he and I know he did direct this film, um, which is uh, Pankaj playing a. We've reacted mm. to the trailer. We reacted to the trailer. Uh, on that. And he, this apparently, this is one we haven't gotten to yet. I wanted mm -hmm. to because I love Pankaj. Of course, this is one of his better performances. A lot of people say he plays like this mob boss. Obviously, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> it's a stretch for him. I know. I'm, do I'm doing his Mirzapur. This was before Mirzapur. Yeah. Too. Um, but apparently, it's like a, a <clears throat> excuse me, really good film. Um, but I thought he did a really good job keeping everything real tight. Oh, uh, a taut is the bet. Yeah, it's a tight. Mm -hmm. It's so gripping, crisp, yeah. and edited, and there's no fat on this thing. It's lean. It's strong. I it moves. Me. The end. Uh, and the, the 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 sound department, the editing department, the cinematography, the score, once again. Oh. the cine everything is top notch. Yeah, top notch. Fantastic movie. Very happy that it's as good as the trailer. Yes, uh, thank you. It's probably one of the first ones in a while. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's been as good as the trailer. Yeah, actually, for me, it was better than the trailer because yeah. of all the other little surprises. Yeah, so. Absolutely. So you guys can let us know what you thought about this film. Uh, and also let us know about that uh, the, the Michelle film with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As well, because uh, I'm quite interested in seeing her and VJ, VJ and, Ross. and Vishal yep. film. So uh, let us know what you thought about this film and what should be the next film we watch down below. Yeah.